What up folks, welcome back to Ultra Zelda Toys, and today I have a review of the Power Rangers Legacy Automorphin Power Rangers, Green Ranger and Red Ranger. So right after I filmed that little intro, I had the urge to completely change my workspace. <laughs> Um, because if you guys have followed the channel and my last organizing of Ultra Zill Toys, I had an idea of how to move things, and I did, um, but I kind of hated it. And this afternoon, while I was about to film this review, man, I just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it anymore. I did not like the space. I had to move some furniture around, and I think I really like my space now. Not only that, I feel like... This area is producing better light, the way it's bouncing off, like I have white wall on one side and stuff, so I don't know, I, I think, we'll have to see when I see this video back, but I'm, I'm liking it right now, guys, so a little aside there, that's for all uh, the folks that have been tuning in, thank you for doing that. So, we got the Automorphin um, Power Rangers here, the Flip Changers. The green and the red. I have not seen the pink around. I'm honestly not sure if I'm going to get the pink or if they're going to make more if I'm going to get them. I've, you know, as far as MP MMPR goes, I really always liked the Red Ranger. I really did like, the, you know, Tommy Tommy and Jason here. And, um, you know, Tommy and as the White Ranger as well is nice. I don't know. I don't think I'm getting more of these. But we'll see when I find the Pink Ranger how I feel. Um, haven't yet, but... Yep, we shall see. But these these are a little. I didn't I didn't collect uh, these guys when they were first out. Um, so these are brand new to me. Um, you know, I, I like that they just took the original molds, I guess, and redid them. You know, but they're really nice. I don't know if they were this nice. The finish on these two do make me want to have a full team of them, you know? And you know what? I might break down and have a full team of them. Who knows? Um, but I really like what I uh, see here. Um, they do come with these, like... I don't even know if I can pick it up. Tattoos? I guess temporary tattoos. Um, you got T-Rex here. It's actually very nice. Nice silhouette art. Um, and I guess a dragon and forgive the band-aids um, between moving this stuff and boy has it been a very dry winter for me here Ugh, really apologize um, but yeah there you go uh, so let's take a look at the Red Ranger Again, the finish is really nice. It's got a nice gloss throughout. I really like how the tampo printing looks on of the uh, dinosaur there. Um, the T-Rex looks really good there. Really, really good. So just nice shiny, shiny plastic. Looks good. And the paint they use also is very nice. Um, yeah, it looks good. <laughs> You know, the Morpha looks good. I just, I think it looks very, very cool. You know, you got a bunch of screws on the back. Oh, whatevs. I'm not going to be displaying it that way anyway. Even these, it doesn't bother me. I know what I, I knew what I was getting into here. Uh, the head sculpt, you know, the helmet looks very nice. I like the silver all about it. It's very cool. Really neat, too. Very, very nice and neat figure. I'm very impressed. Um, comes with his sword here just gray molded plastic I wish they did a little something with their weapons a little more because I mean 20 bucks for these is absurd I got them uh, one at Target and one at uh, GameStop uh, absurd prices 20 bucks for these uh, this, I don't see it I don't see 20 bucks here um, so that that's a bit of a shame even though they're legacy figures um, you, you, they could have given us a little more on the weapons, some some color, make the silver or at least or something. I don't know. Sculpt is okay, very soft, um, holds it pretty well because there's a nice little uh, little little clip there. 
you know, a little peg, I should say, and a little hole there. So that works pretty good. They also come with the blasters. They both have the same exact one. Uh, and it looks really good. I really like it in white. Very nice, very clean looking. Sculpt is good. So same thing, it's got the hole. Boom, holds really well. I wish more figures did that, honestly. Now oh, the edge of mine is kind of dirty over here. Yuck. Blah. <laughs> but that looks good, you know? So, before we do the flip, let's look at the articulation. There's nothing in his head. Hinge swivel at the shoulder moves really well. Single jointed elbow, nothing at the wrist, nothing at the waist. Swivel hips and single jointed knees. So there you go. And of course the gimmick is the flip change. So I don't know how best to do it here. I'm not a flip change expert guys. Is it supposed to just like flip, pull this down and Flip it out. I don't know. Maybe mine doesn't work. And there's Jason's head. <laughs> and yeah. It's really small. <laughs> uh, but the likeness is there, despite being kind of cartoony. The eyes look painted well. The eyebrows and the hair all look good. I can't really complain. It's kind of cute. <laughs> but there you go. The Green Ranger, Tommy, uh, also looks very nice. The finish is very nice. Again, really love how shiny it is and just bright. And the uh, the gold armor just really looks good. And you can see me there. Hey, how are you? Um, so that's nice. Like, that's, that's really, really good. 20 bucks. Look at that gold. You know where I'm getting at here. Why wasn't this on the, uh, the gold Zeo Ranger? Huh? Come on. Come on now. Again. Same blaster. Comes with his little uh, dragon dagger here. Looks kind of different to me. I don't know why. I just don't. I'm not sure. But, um. Yeah, it's, it's okay. It is what it is. You know? Sculpt is nice. I don't know if it's accurate. I can't really, uh, I don't think so. I think this looks very different to me. Um, but yeah, this looks good. Head sculpt on the helmet looks pretty good as well. I like the red in the middle and uh, the silver again is very well painted. The black is nice, very nice. These are, I mean, at least they're painted nice. Is that what they're trying to say to us? And of course this comes apart. So you can Two little pieces there, and there uh, is his uh, little, little Godzilla-looking uh, dragon sword, dragon. So that's pretty cool, and uh, it's got all the same articulation: hinge, swivel, single joint. Oh, actually, the, the swivels at the uh, lower bicep there. There you go. Missed it here. Oh, wait, what do we got here? Who came here? Ooh, Skull Smasher-ish. Um, so yeah, swivel, hinge, and there you go. There's your articulation. Will this work? I am not a good flip changer. <laughs> I feel like that really there has to be like, what's the, oh, see it flips that way. This way you just gotta put it, all right. I get it, I get it now. So Tommy doesn't look as good. Um, oh, ooh, I did not realize these heads turned. Let's see, does Jason's head turn? Ooh, it was tight, but yes. There you go, there's another articulation point. That to me does not look like Tommy, so. And it looks a little dirty too. But, you know, the eyes are painted well and the eyebrows, eh, they're all right. So, meh, it's not the greatest, but you know. I mean, I'm not really gonna be keeping it like this anyway. I'm definitely gonna be like, keeping it like that. And uh, yeah. Let's try that again. There we go. That's, I guess it's kind of fun to do, right? <laughs> it's morphin' time. 
Oh. It's morphin' time. Yay! I don't know. I feel like I'm selling myself to get the rest of the team. <laughs> but I don't know if they're going to come out with them. Um, yeah, I wouldn't do it anyway because I, I really like how it looks with the uh, gold armor. It's beautiful. So, yeah, it's not bad. Also, one last thing. Um, these really don't stay well in the holsters. So, uh, my suggestion is keep them on in their hands. They got the nice pegs there in the hole. So, <sighs> Let's do that, shall we? Let's do that. Yeah, I think it works better. Just like so. And there you go. Not bad, not bad. I, I do, I, I, they're definitely not worth 20 bucks, <laughs> um, but I definitely um, think they're pretty fun, you know, to have. So, and they look nice. Like, you know, really, they look nice. Let's do some size comparisons. Um, these guys are kind of small, I guess, like five inch figures. Yep. Here's uh, Trunks from Dragon Stars, also from Bandai America there. Duke Thomas from DC Multiverse. You can see how they look with a six inch figure there. Um, how about a little small Marvel Legends? Rocket Raccoon. And um, how about Scrooge McDuck? Lost his money bag. So that's how they look there. All right, guys, and that's all I have for this review. Uh, I, I, I do like these guys a little more than I thought I would. I, I got them on a whim because, you know, it's shiny, it's new. The shininess really did it for me right away. Uh, so, yeah, and, uh, yeah, they're not bad. They're not bad at all. Let me know your thoughts on these guys. Did you have the originals? Uh, are you getting these now? Are you going to get the full team? Do you think they're even going to make the full team? Um, yeah, I, I guess uh, we'll see what the interest is. So... Alright, so that's all I have. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, peace out, peeps.